What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rinse off body conditioner. I made mine into a sparkling souffle, but you can make it any consistency that you want. This project is super duper easy. Rub it onto your skin, let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse it off. It provides the perfect amount of moisturization. Okay, so I've been making color powders to sell. I haven't formally announced it yet though because it's not quite ready. But Timu reached out to me with free merchandise, so I got packaging items and other things for my channel. That will be at the end of the video if you'd like to check it out. Also, don't forget to check the description where a coupon code will be linked for Timu. So the only thing that separates a rinse off body conditioner from straight up lotion or body butter or whatever is uh, a surfactant and in this case I would highly recommend a whipped soap base and by the way if you don't want to spend all this crazy money uh, buying a whipped soap base you can make your own and I'll link that for you right up there and you're also going to need an emollient now this completely depends on your preference you can use oil only oil let's just say if you want to make a liquid like this one or if you want to make a little bit thicker one, then maybe, you know, add um, butter or coconut oil. Please read the description for important information like the recipe, tips, updates, and the supply list. This is a very loose recipe. You do not have to follow it exactly or even close to get great results. This product is very susceptible to oxidizing and changing colors, so the vanilla stabilizer is very important. More on this in the description. Cool the mixture to about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and whip up your soap base. Then add the butter mixture little by little, whipping after each addition. After whipping up the conditioner, test it to make sure it's just right. I divided the batch and added liquid colorant to each. I also added mica powder, but because the mixture is opaque, the sparkle is hard to see. So then I added it to coconut oil, where the mica can be seen better. Now just pipe that fluffy souffle into a container. There's some of that beautiful sparkling coconut oil. Oop, and there's some more. Just 
Just a quick tip. At first, I made the conditioner a bit more colorful, but it didn't look right. I think the pastel colors look better, especially for this project. The conditioner is super easy to scoop out of the container and it also glides on skin readily and easily, which is a good characteristic. Use it just like hair conditioner. Smooth it over clean skin, leave it on for a few minutes, then wash it off and pat your skin dry. My skin felt perfectly moisturized. So as I mentioned before, I have been working on color powders. I've successfully gotten the color recipes down and have been making batches every week. Now I just have to package them and decide where to sell them and all that aggravation. <laughs> but they should be ready really soon. Anyway, Timu reached out. I mainly purchased packaging items, but I also got other stuff for my channel. Take a look. <laughs> This is like little miniature coffee beans. I have been wanting to do like a coffee scrub tutorial. You guys keep asking me for it. On top of the scrub, I'm gonna put like little coffee bean um, soaps or something. Look, little coffee beans. How cute is that? Oh this is like little round ones. This is almost identical to the one I bought on Amazon for the pearl tutorial. I think these might be a little bit bigger. I don't know, but I bought these for cake pop uh, bubble bars or something, you know. You stick the little stick right in there and um, it's cute. Next thing I got was these cute little popsicle molds. Uh, you can put little sticks. You have a little place for the sticks right there. It's like a little rainbow mold. And I got um, some larger unicorn horn molds and then some eyelashes because the ones that i have are tiny 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 and it's so funny because i was looking for something like this this to take pictures with hmm hmm hold on one second okay Ta -da! <laughs> Okay, so everything else is tailored to me selling color powder. For instance, I got these purple mailers. They're small, I got the small size. And the little bubble, the bubble mailers. Little sticks, that way I could put it, you know, one in each package, that way you could sample the color powder like that. Wait till you see these stickers. Oh my God, they're like the cutest thing ever. Warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. I hope this makes you smile. And this is a smaller one. And then this is like a bigger one. This one is yes. Your happy mail has arrived. Got pretty little things inside or pretty things inside. Little packs of like scrapbook stickers. Look how cute this is. When you get your color powder, it's supposed to inspire you. Of course, the color powder is enough inspiration. Just looking at them makes me want to go make stuff. But then I got this pack. Remember why you started? Inspire. When you feel like quitting, think about why you started. Smile, sparkle, shine. Be creative. That's probably like my favorite one. Shine on you crazy diamond. Work hard, dream big. Do what makes you happy. Work hard, play hard. This, my dad, said this all the time growing up. He always told us work hard, play hard. That was like one of his little mantras. Success is not for the lazy. He also said that. Take the risk or lose the chance. So true. Make a wish. And other cutesy cutesy little stickers like that. The very last thing I got was something to put on the outside of the packages and I'm going to demonstrate right now. The wax seals will look better though because I'm going to add mica. One says open me and the other says made with love. I really want to get a custom one that includes my company name, Creative Bath Lab, but don't forget a coupon code will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching.